her ex has a bigger package. I received this email from one of my subscribers and before we get started, before I actually read this email to you, I wanted to make sure that we are serious about this topic because here's a guy that's really going through a lot of problems and I want to read this email aloud and then give my personal response on what I think he should do. So make sure you watch this whole video. Her ex has bigger package. Hey Jerry, I wanted to share some info about my current girlfriend and hopefully get some helpful insights from you and your audience. So he's asking not only for my insights, but your insights as well. He says, I really believe I met the love of my life. I started dating this Thai girl who I recently got intimate with. That's great. I mean, that's the kind of progress that you want to see. He says, she got long black hair, a feminine smile and perfect skin. She always smells sexy. Hmm, that's even better because if you're a guy, you go to Thailand, that's what you want. You want to get together with a young feminine woman and seems like that's who he found. She's 24 years old. She didn't want to have sex with me during the first weeks, most likely to make sure that I'm serious about her and us. That's very common, especially for an Asian girl that wants to have a serious long-term relationship with a Western guy because a lot of Western guys, they just vacation in Asia and they're not serious about the girl at all. So this girl seems to have a system in place to make sure that the guy who she's dating at this moment is actually a guy she could be together with for the long term. That's what women want. Women want security, okay? He says, after cooking together at my place for several days in a row, we got intimate. Wow fantastic I mean she didn't look pleased at all that's not good why I asked her if there was any problem and she told me that her ex has a bigger package than me think about it you put in all this work you spend weeks of your time to get her to like you you cook for her at home at your home and then once you finally get intimate with her she tells you that you're not good enough mind-boggling absolutely mind-boggling she said I wasn't long enough to give her the satisfaction she needed. Terrible. That was one of the most painful moments of my life, as there's little to nothing that could be done about my size. I don't think I'm short at all, and no Asian woman I slept with had made such statement in the past. I believe you, man. I totally believe you. I really love this girl, but I'm not sure if I can stay together with someone who doesn't enjoy one of the most important parts of a relationship intimacy <sighs> she also pointed out that she had relationships with several western guys before me both casual and long-term relationships so she probably had some one-night stands some serious relationships all right her last boyfriend was a 6.5 foot tall man from spain jesus she been dating a basketball player or what? I can't compete with him. I'm too scared she's gotten used to his package and can no longer accept a smaller version. My biggest fear is staying with someone who doesn't love me or enjoy our relationship. I totally accept everything about her, including her past relationships, but her recent statement makes me very insecure about our future and I now question if she really loves me. I don't blame you, man. I don't blame you. So this is the email, okay? So we have a guy here who's in Thailand, Western guy, looking to date for the long term. At least that's what I understood. And he found this girl who was also looking to date for the long term. So they both put in the amount of effort needed to make sure that both are on the same page, that both are not looking for something short term. And, and look, now you could say, well, you're in Asia, you could date short term. Of course you can. There's a really a big problem here, you know, and I'm not surprised to see such a story come out of Southeast Asia because also things are changing in Asia. Things aren't only changing in the Western Hemisphere, like Europe, Western Europe, Australia, the United States. Relationships are changing everywhere. Southeast Asia, Latin America, Africa, those regions are just lagging behind doesn't mean that women won't become westernized or modernized in those regions. Some have already become 
westernized, modernized. And the problem that this guy has run into is that he's with a girl who dated several Western boyfriends in the past. I mean, that doesn't necessarily need to be a bad thing, but more often than not, it is a bad thing if the woman carries her baggage into the new relationship. Like, if you're in a new relationship, you should not be comparing, you know? And I'm pretty sure this girl is not perfect at all. I'm sure she got her flaws. I'm sure she got attitude problems. I'm pretty sure she got other problems. You know, she doesn't have a clean track record at all. She got some miles on her, you know what? So for a guy to accept a woman like this in terms of long-term dating, you know, he needs to get something back. And the problem is the double standard. And the double standard here is that, okay, I'm a woman, I can tell this guy that I'm not satisfied with his penis size, I'm not satisfied with his package, yet he's a guy, he can't tell me anything about my body, what's wrong with my body, he can't do that. I can tell him whatever is wrong with his body, but he can't say anything about my body. That's a double standard. And that double standard doesn't just exist in Western countries. It exists also in Asian countries, as we can see. I just think this is a difficult situation to get out of because first of all, she's comparing him to her ex, something that he doesn't deserve. He doesn't deserve this. He hasn't done anything, you know? And for her to say that, you know, I cannot, be pleased because your package is not big enough. I mean, that's just complete nonsense. If a woman really loves you for who you are, a woman won't have a problem with that because she would be turned on by other things than just the length of your package, which is not something that you can change or control. So it's very unfair and should not happen. So what should he do? Should he stay together with a girl that may never be pleased with intimacy or should he move on? I personally believe he should be moving on because he can't change anything about it. And the fact that she had already several Western boyfriends, to me personally, is a big turnoff because it, it shows that this woman is specifically into Western guys. And why hasn't any of her past boyfriends married her? Why hasn't she gotten married before? And who broke up those past relationships of her? Who did it? Was it her? Was it them? Doesn't matter. If a woman already had so many boyfriends and she still couldn't get anyone to stick to her, that is a big problem. And I think what he should do is to never sleep with her again. To teach her a lesson that such statement is completely unacceptable because why do I have to take your BS if I can give you any BS? I mean, a relationship is all about fairness. A relationship is all about respect. By her telling him that she's not satisfied with his package, she pretty much told him that she doesn't respect him. And if a person does not respect you and you respect them, then you're in big trouble. So what he should do is he should move on. He sounds like a good guy. Uh, he should move on. He should just find somebody who will appreciate him for who he is. I think he should move on. I think he should find somebody worthwhile. He should find somebody who appreciates him for who he is and what he has, not what he doesn't have. So this is my advice to you. What do you think the person in question should do? Do you think he should stick together with this girl and accept her for who she is and what she said? Or should he move on and try his luck with somebody else? Leave a comment below and let us know. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. I'm uploading new videos on digital nomad locations, travel updates, and investment advice several times a week right now. And if you got some more time left, check out these videos.